Hello and welcome to Quarterlight, your car brochure channel. And in today's Saturday special, we'll be looking at the Talbot Samba Trio Special Edition. Hello and welcome back. And if you're new to Quarterlight, we're a car brochure channel here on YouTube, looking at car brochures from around the world for the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s and sometimes beyond that as well so if you're interested in car brochures and cars in general please consider subscribing anyway it's saturday we call it the saturday special because we look at a special edition car of various different makes and models and today is the turn of the talbot sambo trio special edition and yeah those observers well, no we've just quite recently actually well a couple of weeks ago we looked at another samba special edition the roller with those kind of like unique yellow wheels so here we've got another one the trio looking splendid with those interesting wheel trim so let's learn a little bit more about that but first we should dis discuss really when these special editions came out so the trio here um this particular special edition is, is dated October 1984 and the roller which we looked at a few weeks ago was February 84 so pretty close really these special editions were still being thrown out um, and I guess really these Samba special editions were really all about colours more than anything else to be honest and without reading too much we can straight away see that this particular one's got an unusual colour for a samba and these matching wheel trims with this little bit of a i don't know zigzag pattern on there and a bit of a trio badge on the front as well um but overall yeah it was really about what colour you wanted i guess i think one thing that's interesting about these kind of like brochure sheets is the pictures for these because they're both showing right hand drive um, cars but I don't know if you can make this out but this one's showing a little bit of a wheel cap oh a wheel cap I mean a uh, fuel filler cap on this side none on this side and the observant will notice that the wipers are also facing the opposite way although it's still showing both as being right hand car drive cars so I don't know if they've flipped the image to give that illusion I'm not 100% sure but if you do know, I suppose, answers on a postcard. Remember we used to say answers on a postcard in the 80s to win a competition? Jot it down in the comments. I suppose that's the more modern way of saying that. Anyway, let's learn a little bit more about the Samba Trio. The Trio, the Samba with a difference. Here comes an exciting special edition of one of the most popular little beauties on the roads of Europe. Instantly distinguishable by its exclusive colour scheme the trio will stand out in any company joyfully mixing it with larger less lively cars on the road or demurely upstaging all the others in the car park bit of a weird statement but it goes on to tell us trio has as all the established samba advantages comfort performance capacity 32.75 cubic feet with the rear seat folded an excellent economy at a constant 56 with its 1124 cc engine coupled with a four speed gearbox gives up to 61.4 miles per gallon but the trio offers even more ming blue metallic paint attractive body side tapes and aerodynamic wheel covers tinted glass all round incidentally it says you know aerodynamic wheel covers it's quoting exactly the same miles per gallon as last the roller um special edition that don't have any wheel trims on there at all but anyway um like i say um tinted glass all round a glass sun hatch and a rear spoiler inside trio is color coordinated blue carpet denim cloth seat inserts yes denim with a special diagonal stitching pattern fuchsia piping on the seats and see-through front head seat head restraints 
blue door trim pads and a fuchsia front door mount moulding. For the driver, a sport steering wheel, optimum visibility and an ergonomically designed facial layout. The rear parcel shelf is blue. The trio also sports a radio as standard with black roof aerial. Everything harmonises on this special edition. With its attractive appearance, the trio retains full Samba versatility, a state car practicality, a large tailgate with wash wipe, and the saloon car ride of all independent suspension. Sparkling performance, excellent fuel economy, the Talbot Samba trio, totally in tune with the times. So now we've learned a bit about it, let's just zoom in and look you better look at those aerodynamic wheel trims very un unique design that red line going through it a uh, little trio badge you can just see on the bonnet there wish the uh, brochure would actually have an inside image because you can't really see those denim seats that would have been nicer to have a look at you can make out that very cheap and cheerful uh, pop-up sunroof though and of course those tape stripes and you can just about make out that little bit of a spoiler right at the top there. I'm sure some of you would have noticed, yeah, it does have a dealer stamp on this weight one. H. Finnegan, Ashbourne Road Leak Staffs, authorised dealer for Talbot UK. I take it all back, flip it over. I should have just turned it over before, really, shouldn't I? Um, there is an image of the interior. Quite unique seat colourings, actually. Um, that blue and that fuchsia unusual mix and like i say some of them seat covering is made of denim very interesting material to use for a seat kind of that reminds me of you know the old volkswagen beetles there was a denim special edition that had denim seats i don't know if you remember that uh, but yeah i mean it was an interesting special edition as pretty much all these samba special editions were they weren't giving you too much in the way of extra performance but certainly cheery colours and a cheery interior I'm sure that attracted some first time buyers for sure and if you wanted something a little bit special that rally um, was the real sporty little number so same engine setup as the other special edition 1124cc engine um, 50 brake horsepower so it's not going to be too exciting although it's small it probably feel quite fun to drive a bit mini-esque maybe bit of information about the ignition and the cooling and transmission front wheel drive just a four speed though but it does have an all synchro mesh gearbox as you would imagine at this time front suspension independent struts with coil spring telescopic shock absorbers and anti-roll bar Rear suspension, independent trailing arms with coil springs and telescopic shock absorbers. Steering, rack and pinion, brakes, front disc, rear drum. Wheels are pressed steel, spare wheel on these actually located under the bonnet as quite a few French cars like to do. And they've got information there about the tyres and petrol tank instruments. We get a speedometer, odometer, trip recorder, fuel gauge, warning lights for ignition, oil pressure, um, trafficator, um, trafficator, you know, whenever I see the word trafficator, it always reminds me of a little arm that comes out the side, remember them on the old cars, uh, side lamps, dipped headlamps, hazard warning flashes, main beam, handbrake, brake fluid level, brake pad wear, choke, rear fog lamps, radiator coolant level, high coolant temperature. Standard exterior features, driver static door mirror, tinted glass uh, windows, tinted glass sun hatch, Lord adjustable headlamps, reversing lamps, rear fog lamps, two speed windscreen wipers with flick wipe, electric windscreen wash, heated rear window, tailgate wash wipe, tailgate lock button, rear spoiler, aerodynamic full wheel covers. And then the interior dipping rear view mirror, sun visors with vanity mirrors, 
interior courtesy lamp, face level ventilation, side window demist, illuminated heater controls, two speed heater blower, cigar lighter, front ashtray, rear ashtray, centre console, push button radio, analog clock, front passenger grab handle, interior bonnet release, two front armrests, soft rim sports steering wheel, reclining front seats with tilt sliding, uh, inertia real front seat belts, fold down rear seat, driver's door bin, fascia door bin, recessed rear pockets, fascia parcel shelves, rear parcel shelf, interior floor carpets and a vinyl load area covering. And then we get the dimensions, the curb weights, maximum towing trailer weights, diagnostic sockets and an unlimited mileage warranty during the first 12 months of course. Six years anti-corrosion warranty as well. I mean, if you read it, it's kind of like a bit weird. It says to benefit from the warranty involves only two checks of the car, taking about two hours, depending on the model, carried out at the expense of the customer. And it says at the end of the second and fourth years of service uh, at the Peugeot Talbot dealer, this six-year anti-corrosion warranty is transferable on change of ownership. I can't imagine anyone going to the dealership saying can you check it out it's going to take two hours and you have to pay for it that seems a little bit weird bit of information about the dealer support and mechanical breakdown uh, insurance and a little bit about their, their fuel consumption figures and as you can imagine very fuel efficient although like i say whether it had wheel trims or not they were the same fuel consumption figures quoted of course and at the end of october 1984 is the date of the brochure so there we go, the little Talbot Samba Trio Special Edition. Really all about the colours and the wheel trims and, and denim interior. This was a little bit interesting. Trio name, I think it was used a few times actually. But thank you so much for watching today's Saturday episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Many more special editions coming up every Saturday, as well as many um, various different various models and makes of cars during the week as well so thank you for watching if you're not done so already please do like and subscribe and we'll see you very soon have a great weekend and goodbye